Well, my name is Sascha Palmenberg. Um, I'm running netbooknews.com, which is, uh, of course, obviously a site about netbooks. And we're just producing uh, netbook videos. Uh, we're based in Taipei. But I'm also running netbooknews.de, which is a German blog, you know, more kind of text content blog. So yeah, I'm writing about netbooks now for two years. Uh, uh, I'm living right in the heart of uh, the netbook industry in Taipei, so that's where all my network is. And um, yeah, I'm happy to be here and to talk to you, Ajay. Excellent, great. So yeah, me coming from a technical background, and when I first saw the netbooks in the market, I looked at them and said, oh wow, this looks very nice. What would I use it for? I was not really sure. But then, like over the years, when I saw them getting more popular, I had one of the netbooks, and then I started using it for all kinds of things. So like, what are your like in your blog, on your website, what yeah. are people saying? Who are the people who are actually buying these apps? You know, actually, it kind of changed over the years. Yes. Uh, um, since we got the first EPC was a seven inch display at that time, an uh -huh. 800 by 480 resolution. I mean, it was very limited, right? Also with the onboard storage, it was like, uh, we had two gigabyte, four gigabyte, and max eight gigabyte versions of it. It kind of changed radically when MSI introduced the first 10-inch netbook, the MSI Wind U100. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, so we had a that. way bigger keyboard. Mm -hmm. We had a nice uh, 1024 by 600 resolution on it. You know, and um, so due to this, the user scenario for the users um, changed also. Like. Well, the first EPC, it was like a little toy, in right, my opinion. Exactly. But it was yeah, a it was, gadget. It was, it was a gadget. Very, very appealing. I need it, but yeah, yeah I don't know what I'm... It was very yeah. appealing to people. Of course, it was also a little bit limited with Xandros uh, Easy Mode at that time. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit hard for people to um, add new applications um, and to, your, to their netbook. But uh, then all of a sudden, this market exploded, right? And oh, right. everybody needs to, needs to make a netbook right now, needs to produce netbooks. So let's say in the beginning, it was just all about surfing the internet. Correct. In my opinion. Mm, yes. right? Opening a browser, right? Because it was hard to open your open office. Well, it wasn't hard to open open office or uh, any kind of word processor, but the keyboards were so super small. The screen yeah, size right. was so small. But right, uh, with the netbooks that are available on the market right now, even with systems that are coming with HD displays on a 10 inch yeah. one, right? You can definitely use it as a production device. You know, um, Steve from umpcportal.com and me, uh, during us, uh, or this year's CBIT, we've been using our netbook for the whole week. We produce all our content just on netbooks. We're nice. in our podcasts on netbooks. We're editing our videos on netbooks. Of course, not HD videos, that would take a while. <laughs> um, but still, um, the way the user scenario changes is a matter of the platform itself, in my opinion, of the hardware platform, but also a matter of what kind of software and applications I'm running on. Are there like, okay, let me ask you a direct question. Are there like three or four applications, must have applications on your networks that you would like to see that would make you want to go and buy a network? Um, well, I think right now, is, and, and Intel especially already started this um, with, your, with your recent versions of mobile. Right. You already integrated social networks in a great right. way. I just love it to have one front end where, I can, where I'm aggregating all my feeds, all my data out of the social networks, even my news feeds, even my email feeds. You know? right. I really like the, the version of Boblin that we saw over here, whether it was from Linpus or uh, from Ubuntu, from Canonical. Mm -hmm. you know? We can see a, a lot of uh, Linux developers are now developing on top of the mobile platform. All right. So for me, first of all, is uh, a netbook is a mobile computing device, and for me, right. it needs to be connected to the internet. All right. Therefore, applications you know that are taking advantage of this user scenario, that are taking advantage of the connectivity of a netbook and right. the mobility, you know, would be on top of my list of applications that I really want uh, uh, for a netbook. But I'm. Um, I also can think about location-based services, uh -huh. location-based applications. Right now, I, I feel that this market is kind of limited to smartphones. Yes. Right? But I think we can we can involve this, and uh, we can get even these applications onto a network platform, because a network, due to its due to its size, right, Correct. it can not only be a time-saving device, but it can also be a time-killing device. Oh yeah, right. You're waiting, you can, you're waiting yeah. on the bus, uh, for the bus, uh, standing at the bus stop, you're just opening it, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to boot it, you're just going in, uh, you're, you're in standby, the battery time of networks in these days is great. Correct. So you're just opening, bang, you're on the internet in two seconds. Uh -huh. So, and then I could check immediately my social networks, I could check my emails, things that I might also do on my smartphone, 
but I'm getting, a, in my opinion, a completely different experience when I'm having a, a bigger, a bigger display, display. And, yes. and a great resolution. So first of all, I think um, for, for the average user, or let's say the users um, that are kind of growing up now with the network market, yes. you know, this is becoming more and more important. You know, being on the internet all the time. I know that we even have so many users that are using the network as a secondary or the third a device, right? And they right. Keep maybe even only using it uh, at home. Right? But the more our networks are expanding, the more uh, 3G connectivity we are getting all over. We're getting world. everything, right? I, I can tell you, you know, in, I'm pretty sure in 12 months, we won't discuss anymore, does your network have 3G or not? Right. Right. They will all come with a 3G module. The prices are dropping radically due to networks. And, and that will create like, you know, the connectivity won't be an issue. And Absolutely. then it will create all together a new experiences, right? You know, it's just very important that we have the chance to sync all these devices. Services on the internet are giving us these possibilities. Possibilities, right. Now, right. now for example, I'm using on my BlackBerry, I'm not even using the BlackBerry push mail, so sorry, we <laughs> Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm using Google Mail on my BlackBerry app, the Google uh, Mail application that which uh, syncs with my so, application yes. on my BlackBerry, and I'm also using the same on my netbook. You know, I'm using it with Google Gears, and uh, uh, so I, even when I'm offline, I can still do uh, do my emails. And as soon as I'm having uh, internet available somewhere, Wi-Fi or whether it's 3G, you know, I can immediately sync it with the cloud again. That's very, very important that, that the users are having the chance to sync all the different devices because we have more and more devices. I would like to give you another uh, interesting uh, example. Sure. Uh, one of my readers was sending me an email like some two or three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, a father of two kids uh, living in California, and he was explaining how he's using his Dell uh, Inspiron Mini 9. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, it, it is standing on the kitchen table, uh -huh. and it's a kind of family computer. So um, his wife is using it, but she's in the kitchen. She can check her email. Right, she's right. looking up recipes, right? Uh, right, right she right. can do shopping, right, while she's cooking or mm -hmm. whatever. The kids are using it uh, for online gaming, right, mm -hmm. or watching videos on YouTube. And he's using it also for checking his emails, looking up what's on TV, his sports networks, and everything. So the whole family is just using this it's little just computer. just using little computer. It's kind of central. They can take it everywhere in, in their household, right? Then you're seeing a lot of, as you said, like whole families are using a network for using the different things. And it's an affordable platform. Right. I think we have to add this. This makes the whole thing a little bit different, different right? Thing. And you, you, you can't carry, uh, let's say, a 17-inch notebook uh, all day long around with you, right? You will definitely feel this by the end of the day <laughs> uh, compared so, this to a netbook.